Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a really lovely day. Please excuse any background noise once again. There's still loads of drilling going off outside. And also my crazy hair, which won't even fit on the screen. Anyway. <laughs> I recently got a question asking how to price up cakes and immediately I was like, yep, this is definitely something I want to talk about. It can be quite a sensitive topic and I'm sure a lot of creators out there will admit that it's one of the hardest parts of running a business and it's not something we always want to talk about. I've been reading lots of articles about this and watching videos and stuff and it's kind of made me come to realise that I'm not quite doing it right myself and I think it's probably about time that I reassessed my own pricing structure and almost started again. As I've said many times before in my Insta stories and stuff, I am no expert. I've had my cake shop about four and a half years now and I'm on a journey myself. I'm always learning new things along the way and it's really nice to be able to share some of these things with you guys. I really want my videos to be a little bit more chatty and just show you the process of growing and running a business, the highs and the lows. People seem to love my Instagram stories because of how like real and honest I am, so I kind of want to inject that a little bit more into my YouTube videos. So if you like the idea of that, please comment below, just say yes or put a happy face or something, I'd love to hear your feedback. Anyway, let's get into this video. I'm going to tell you what I've learned so far about pricing cakes. There are many things to consider before you go about pricing up a cake. The first is your cost, which is probably one of the most important things. So you've got to think about your overheads, that's things like rent, utilities, gas, water, electricity, etc. Then you've got things like your printed materials, business cards, flyers, posters, any office supplies, anything that's required to run your business. Then of course you've got the cost of your ingredients, so butter, sugar, flour, etc, whatever is going into your cake, and of course the cost of your cake board, cake box, whatever you're going to use to package your cake. You might also want to factor in the cost of some of the equipment that you're using to make the cake, so for example your mixer. You also want to think about delivery and setup if you're offering that service, so include the cost of your petrol and the time it's going to take for you to do that. And of course the time it's going to take for you to bake and decorate that cake from start to finish, including any sort of clearing up time. You need to set an hourly rate for yourself and stick by it. The second big factor after all your costs is your location. This is quite an important one. For example, if you live in London, your pricing is probably going to be quite different than if you live in a small town in, say, Derbyshire. Do your research and assess the competition. Take a look at some of the other businesses in your local area and see what prices they are charging. Don't undercut them, but just use this as a general guideline when it comes to pricing your own products. If your competitors are charging a lot more than you, you probably need to raise your prices a little bit. Don't compare your prices with supermarket cake prices. You just can't compete with these. A homemade, hand-decorated, bespoke cake is in a whole different league to a mass-produced cake that you can just buy off the shelf. Cakes made for big celebrations are often one of the most important parts of the event and usually what most people talk about afterwards. You're not just providing a cake, you're providing memories and happy experiences. Always remember that. Now that you've considered all these different things, you want to decide whether you're going to price the cake by the number of servings or by the whole cake. I normally price mine by the whole cake because let's say I've made a cake that only serves 10 people but it's taken me 6 hours from start to finish to make. It's obviously going to cost me a lot more than if I just priced it per serving because of the time involved. However, that being said, I think it's a good idea to factor both of these things into the equation because you might not want to charge £60 for a cake that only serves six people, for example. What I do is I have set prices for some of my set designs and then I have a minimum price for my bespoke cakes and the prices basically go up from there depending on the size of the cake and the decoration work involved. Generally what I've done in the past is I've costed up my cakes and then added on a little bit 
for my time but I've not really ever factored in all these different things which is why it's made me think that I do need to reassess my pricing. Generally what I've done in the past is I've costed up my capes and then added on a little bit for my time but I've not really ever factored in all these different things which is why it's made me think that I do need to reassess my pricing. Now I've come across a little formula online which I definitely want to try out and I hope you guys do too. It can be a little cake costing challenge. It's the cost of your labour plus ingredients plus utilities which gives you your total cost. Now you want to think about the markup you want to make on that cake. So say you want to make a 25% markup. You now need to multiply your total cost by 25%. That gives you your profit. Now you need to add together your profit and your total cake costs which gives you your final cake price. Now I know this might seem like a lot of money at first but you've got to remember that your time and skills are valuable. I think a lot of this comes down to your own confidence and self-esteem which is definitely something I have struggled with over the years but I'm kind of at a point now where I can say you know what I'm ready to start to charge the prices that I want to and make the money that I deserve. So I'll keep you guys updated on my progress and I'll definitely do a second video on costing up your cakes and I'll let you know how this new pricing structure has worked out for me. Huge thank you to Hannah Robertson for asking this question. I really enjoy talking about this topic and it's been so helpful for me too. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can make more content like this and continue to share my business journey with you from my little cake shop here in the UK. And if you have a business or baking related question of your own, please do pop it in the comments below and I will more than happily answer it for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time guys. Bye.